Now, school closures are now widespread in Nigeria in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. While these are critical steps to protect the health of Nigerians, the disruption in routine for children can be incredibly hard. Long-term changes to daily schedules can mean a loss of skills they may have gained during school programming or lead to increased anxiety and maybe problematic behaviors. More so parents who are also at home unexpectedly and juggling work with home life have fewer options to balance all these demands. To help family cope with this significant disruption, uh, we have live uh, via Skype, Nele Tiwari. Good morning, Tiwari. Good morning. And first of all, how are you coping with this lockdown? Uh, I think uh, I'm fine. It's just that um, there are downsides and there are benefits, I believe, of this situation. Um, the downsides, I would say, will be that um, students will be getting really um, healthy during this uh, pandemic period, although uh, unhealthy during this pandemic period, although I would say that um, this period can also be used um, very wisely and very productively. Um, you know, by gaining as much information as possible. Um, for example, I'm an A-level student. I'll be going to university um, this year in September. So I can, you know, um, I have like uh, three months, I have four, uh, three to four months before my university, before I enter my university, and I can, you know, study uh, um, all about my courses. You know, I can read my favorite hobby books. And yeah, I think that's the best I can do at the moment. Now, uh, uh, how have you, what have you been engaged in during this time, you know, both in terms of academics and leisure, to, you know, to keep uh, body and soul together? Well, um, academics, I would say that my school has managed um, its students uh, very efficiently by, um, you know, using um, internet facilities such as um, Microsoft Office 365 which um, contains um, Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, which, you know, really helps uh, stu um, teachers to send homework to its students, you know, pass papers to its students. And students can ask um, any uh, questions regarding their academics to their teachers, uh, respective teachers. And the principal also, um, you know, uh, he is always uh, updating us on um, um, the recent COVID situation and how it is affecting our future. So that's, I feel that's really good. I know you were supposed to get into the uni, as you mentioned, and you have written an exam. Uh, how, far, how is the exam so far? My exams have been, um, my exams have been really good. So what the universities, uh, what the schools are doing uh, and what the universities have so far agreed to is that um, the final mock results, so uh, in, a, in a level um, courses, you have a mock test before your final exams. And uh, so what the universities will be, uh, what the universities are going to do is they will um, take the final mock exam results and consider them the final results. So that's how we are going to do it. I mean, part of what COVID-19 has caused is slowing down realities and slowing down things. Are you anxious or worried that, uh, you know, this situation is going to delay your entry into the uni? Well, absolutely. I am worried that I might enter my university um, late, you know, maybe not September. I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping that this uh, pandemic issue ends um, uh, as soon as possible, you know, within a month or two, I would say uh, it should. Uh, however, let's say it doesn't, let's say that, uh, um, you know, it doesn't end until September, the, September being the time when I'm supposed to enter university. I would say that um, the best thing one can do is, you know, take online courses um, to learn about your university, um, you know, uh, uh, the knowledge you're going to gain in your universities. Um, so that you don't delay in terms of gaining information. Thank you so very much, Tiwari. Keep doing your best, and we share your hope that this will be over soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please do. Right.